We've gone through niche research, design research, keyword research, hiring a designer. Now it's actually time to start uploading our product. Hey everyone, it's Eric from Shuckabuck. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of actually putting your keywords into your titles and your descriptions. I'm not gonna walk you through the process of actually uploading, but what I will do is I'm gonna go through and just show you what you actually need to do. It's pretty simple on both platforms, on Etsy and on Amazon. With Amazon, as you can see, you just need a brand, a title, a couple uh, key features, which is the bullet point section and the product description. On Etsy, it's pretty much the same, but you're gonna have to add in your own mockups. So if you wanna get mockups, you can go to placeit.net. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and get mockups for pretty much any print on demand product that you're going to sell through Etsy. Since we are trying to get organic sales, the keywords in the title are going to be the most important thing on both platforms. So I have created kind of this template, if you will, for my titles. So basically this is, this is the template that I use for every title that I create and upload. So what I wanna do is I wanna actually take an example from Amazon and we will create this um, example. I found this shirt, it says, nothing scares me, I'm a CNA, I've seen it, smelled it, touched it, heard it, stepped in it, and um, it's selling pretty well. So they have a pretty good title. Um, I would have named it um, something a little bit different because it has nurse in here, and really it's for a CNA, and nurses and CNAs are a completely different thing, a completely different job title. Um, I know this just because I've dated nurses, and I'm married to a nurse right now. So so first, the title, okay? Now, the first thing you wanna put is what is on the actual design. For this design, it says, nothing scares me, I'm a CNA. That's pretty much all you have to put in the title because that's what it says on the shirt. And if people are searching for that specific phrase, because usually when they see one phrase, they'll search for other designs with that same phrase on it, and they will see other designs with that same phrase on it, and they will pick the design that they actually like. So you always wanna put the what the actual design is first. And then you wanna add in who it's actually for. So in this example, it's for CNAs. So we already have CNA in the, the design title. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna leave that there. And I did put nurse in here anyway, because if people are searching, um, now that I think about it a little bit, um, if people are searching for a gift for someone who is a CNA, they might type in nurse instead of CNA because they don't you know, recognize the two as different. So I would definitely put nurse in there and then when and where or how would they use it. Um, basically, they're gonna use this as a gift. We also put in what the actual product is. So if it's a hoodie, you can put in t-shirt or if it's a hoodie, you put in hoodie. If it's t-shirt, put in t-shirt. On Amazon, they automatically put that in there for you. On Etsy, you're gonna have to add in things like t-shirt and T-E-E -E and all that kind of stuff. Now, if we go to Merch by Amazon and where we actually put in this title, this is where we put it in. So we select our product, which is the t-shirt, and we put in our title. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this in here. And what it says is you have 12 characters remaining. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 12 characters remaining which means we need to go to our keyword list and add a few more keywords in here. Maybe we wanna put different types of colors that are on the shirt. Maybe add, you know, I've seen it to it or something like that. Or maybe you wanna put birthday gift or Christmas gift or something like that in there. But as you can see, the, the product names will append to this design title. So a design title of funny cat will be displayed as funny cat t-shirt. So we actually don't need to put t-shirt in there and they will actually decline it if we do put it in there. So now we have 20 characters remaining, which means we can add more keywords to this listing and you would just go by the keyword list that we created from the last video. So if you haven't watched any of the other videos in this series, make sure to go to my channel, click on playlists and it'll say Merch by Amazon tutorial and click through there and a bunch of videos will uh, will be in that. As far as brand on Amazon, you can actually put in anything that you want here and you can change your brand for every single design that you have. Usually I use the same brand for every niche that I'm in. So if I'm, if I'm doing CNA type of shirts or nursing shirts, I will create a brand name called uh, maybe nurses or proud, proud nurses or something like that and have that brand name as my brand name for every nurse design that I have on Amazon. 
this does this brand section does not matter on Amazon at all so you don't really need to worry about need to worry about it too much so key features and product description now these are optional and I don't know how much weight they have as far as keywords go in ranking the products some people say that yes it helps in ranking and I've literally uploaded designs with just a title and a brand name and they've sold so it's up to you if you want to put these in but I do recommend putting in a couple of key features um, if you don't want to do a product description that's fine but let's go in and look at what my key features are again for the description we're gonna put in what the actual design is and this time we can spell it out in every single word and then who's it for who would buy it or how and how or when would they use it those are the things that you want to put in your description so here's um, the first little um, key feature this is a bullet point on Amazon and you can put this in your in your descriptions on Etsy so here's the entire text that's actually on the design all right what's highlighted here and then I just added funny T all right so those are two keywords that people might be searching for when they're looking for gifts or um, something like that for this type of product in the second key features area I do use birthday Christmas gift CNA friend mom co-worker or sister usually CNAs and nurses are female so that's what I'm gearing this towards more I didn't put in dad or mom I don't list out a ton of different keywords here a lot of people especially this actual listing put in a lot of different things and Amazon's kind of cracking down on keyword stuffing meaning it's just you're just putting in tons of different single words on a, on a listing just to try and get it ranked for a bunch of keywords so this one has uh, perfect for men women kids boys girls families Halloween birthday happy new year Christmas I mean this is this is ridiculous and I would never do this on my listings what I would do is set it up so that it reads well and it's short and it has keywords in it it doesn't need to be long it doesn't have to have every keyword imaginable it just has to have the keywords that are geared towards this actual design I do want to talk about the additions that you need for Etsy so in addition to the stuff we just talked about the title the brand name the key features um, that kind of thing merch by Amazon is really easy to upload with 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 Etsy you're gonna to have to do a little more work and actually you can hire someone to do this um, through Printful or whatever integration you're using to sell or to fulfill your products um, and then you can import them into Etsy and it wouldn't take you um, very long to actually you know approve or upload that listing if someone else is doing it but you're going to need product mock-ups and I do recommend placeit.net there's a link below like I said um, for any type of product that you have for print on demand they pretty much have a mock-up that you can use now you want to put in multiple mock-ups so you want to put in probably four to six different images of the product um, and if you can get people wearing the product that'd be great too and one thing that you want to really think about with product mock-ups on Etsy is that you need to have a white background all right now it doesn't have to be just plain white it could be like a white wood or a white brick back background but as long as it looks white Etsy actually said that those products get more eyeballs so definitely use some sort of white background and then you're gonna add tags tags are just additional keywords that you can add to your listing and I think you get 13 tags so make sure to add those tags in there and then your descriptions you're gonna to want to add what the product is made of or the specs of the product um, you want to put in shipping times your refund policy things like that into your listing and all this stuff is kind of already made for you once you make it once you just copy and paste it into every listing in the next video I'm gonna go through the entire process with you and how to actually create a strategy and a a workflow that will actually get you to one hundred thousand dollars per year hey thanks for watching if you got any value from it make sure to hit that like button otherwise you're gonna end up looking like this guy and um, well you probably won't but it's free so who cares and make sure to subscribe because you're also subscribed to like a thousand other channels and and why not this one what's one more See you later.